Alright, before we officially hop into this video, I just want to say that I know this is going to be a lengthier video, but I'll definitely try and have these videos shorter over time once I figure out what all exactly I want to hit on, especially with this being the first one I'm doing here on the channel. Uh, you know, so it, this video is just kind of like experiment and listen to your guys' feedback of what I should definitely change up for all future album rankings. Uh, and yeah, this is also something I've been wanting to wanting to do on the channel for the past two or three years and I wasn't sure if uh, there was going to be like enough interest in this if I did do this two or three years ago. Of course I started album reviews back in 2021 and ever since then I've practically been doing one a week and I yeah, have been like covering every single album I own a physical copy of, plus albums I thought would be interesting to cover, whether they'd be a new release from uh, that year or even an older album I wanted to hit on. Anyways, I'll be heavily focusing on artists that are in pop, rap and even rock as those are the genres I mainly listen to but you know I'm sure I'll definitely hit on other genres in uh, the future but yeah uh, at the moment I'm currently thinking of doing these videos maybe once every like once or twice a month depending on uh, you know timing and uh, why have planned and whatnot and again if you guys do enjoy this video uh overall but yeah let's go ahead and hop right into it i'll definitely uh, stop pulling us up here as again i know this is going to be a lengthier video Hey guys, welcome back. I hope y'all are doing well. Today I'm changing it up and am officially doing album rankings as this is something I've been wanting to do over the past couple of years at this point. Today I'm kicking it off with Ed Sheeran. This was chosen from the poll I posted uh, about two months ago at this point here on the channel. I also posted that same exact poll on Twitter but unfortunately no one voted on the poll over there. Uh, so yeah if you guys want to follow me on Twitter the link should be down below in the description or you can just simply type in my channel name Bachi109 and find me as they are both the same name. Anyways, as this is my first album ranking, I'm unsure how this is going to go, but I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. I thought I'd mention real quick that isn't it ironic that my first album review I ever did here on the channel was for Ed Sheeran, and the first album ranking I'm ever doing uh, here on the channel is for Ed Sheeran. But yeah, anyways, uh, I do have a few rules uh, that I'm possibly going to be tweaking in the future, but here they are. I will only be uh, purely focusing on stereo albums. As much as I do enjoy some uh, EPs, live albums, and even compilation albums, I just feel this will uh, make this an even longer process, especially if I cover any artist that has been around for decades and has a decent amount of uh, albums uh, out. I have considered doing uh, any c collaboration albums as well, uh, if an artist does have any. I know this will vary vi video to video, depending on uh, how many studio albums an artist has. But for example, if an artist has five studio albums, number five will be the worst 
album, and number one will be the best album. As just a side note, this is all opinionated, so uh, if you do end up leaving a comment, uh, please be respectful uh, in the comments section and uh, just leave your overall thoughts as, again, this is all my opinion. And one of the bigger ones is I will not be including deluxe editions as much as I love them as uh, they all vary country to country and platform to platform. Uh, I, I know this kind of feels like a dumb rule, uh, but uh, I'm going to be bringing it up anyways. But yeah, I'm, I'm up for any artist that has a minimum of two albums, no matter how new or old the artists, if they at least have two albums released, they will be considered for one of these videos. And yeah, my my thinking of this was essentially like my channel, my video, my rules. Now let's go ahead and hop right into it. And yeah, uh, I. Pr may possibly change this in the future, but for this video, uh, I'll just be, like, doing the number, uh, an image of the number, then an image of the, uh, album for the cover art, and, yeah, it's just going to be going at, uh, at, like, that for this video. At number seven, I have number six, Collaborations Project. Now, with this album going to be turning five in July, I still feel this is his worst album to date. I personally do enjoy some of the features on this album, as uh, each track does contain a feature or even two. However, I don't feel each feature is a great fit, as I find some of them underwhelming. Even at times, I don't think Ed is even that great on uh, some of these tracks. To me, some of the more standout features include PMB Rock, Travis Scott, Broom Mars, and Chance Rapper. And yeah, as a whole, I felt the album did have some decent production. I just kind of feel the album tries to figure out exactly what it is. It does contain tracks of pop, singer-songwriter, rap, and even some rock. At number six, I have place Divide here. I don't necessarily hate this album, but I don't necessarily feel it's anywhere near his best. Yes, the album does keep a little bit of singer-songwriter from his first two studio albums, uh, being Plus and Multiply, but the album focuses a little bit more on the pop side, as seen in some of the album singles and uh, other tracks throughout the, throughout the album. Uh, but yeah, I did feel the production was fine throughout the entirety of the album. Uh, I feel like I found the lyrical content to be a little bit inconsistent here as opposed to other albums. Sure, an artist is free to write whatever they feel like, but I feel an album should have some consistency throughout. We do get some more of the uh, typical tricks you'd expect on here, as this is his third studio album. As usual, a big theme of this album is love. We also do get a few tricks about um, heartbreak and relationships, which I personally did enjoy. And yeah, I've always found Shape of You to uh, be one of the oddballs of the album. I do feel it is a decent track, but I never really thought its overall 
lyrical theme tied in to much of the other tracks here on Divide. Here at number five, we have one of his newer albums being Subtract. So yeah, this is the first of two albums he released in 2023. This album also marks the end of his math-themed albums. I did feel this was a decent album, but compared to the other six albums in his discography, I feel there's a few albums that are definitely better than this. I personally did uh, enjoy this album, as it did bring back the more singer-songwriter sound he had upon his first two albums. And there are some tracks that uh, hit on the more Pat side. Lyric-wise, the album hops into themes of love, family, and heartbreak. As much as I love songs like Boat and Eyes Close, I feel in a way they bring the album down. Don't get me wrong, I feel they're great tracks, lyric-wise. It's just I uh, feel that they just kind of lack a little bit of appeal to keep you sticking around. We also get tracks like Saltwater and Life Goes On, where I kind of feel they fall in the same place. I do enjoy the themes of both of those songs as well. Now, here at number four, I have Autumn Variations. I know this is his latest album, and I've listened to this album a few times over the now eight months uh, it's been released, but I've found it to fall right about in the middle. I've even found it uh, a little bit more enjoyable than Subtracts, which is the album I just talked about. This album brings an interesting twist as compared to his other albums, as this album was inspired the album Enigma Ign uh, Variations. Uh, I know I butchered uh, that name, but I'm like, shoot, uh, I'll keep in uh, the video, just uh, let, you, let you guys know I do uh, make some pr pronunciation errors. But yeah, that album is by Elgar. The whole concept of that album, uh, which follows here onto Ed's album, is that each track represents one of his friends. Overall, I thought it was a fun album, with each track describing a different uh, memory or uh, moment of someone, but at times I do find some of the tracks to be a bit underwhelming with sound and performance. To me, I feel uh, some of the highlights include That's On Me, The Day I Was Born, had uh, over heels and even slower tracks like When Will I Be Alright and Punchline. Overall, I didn't think the production of this album was ter terrible, and vocally, I didn't think Ed was too bad. Here at number three, I have Equals. Now, this album was one of the first albums I ever did a live reaction to here on the channel, and I did find it to be pretty enjoyable even on first listen. A little off topic, but I should start reacting to albums more often, as uh, it seems like I uh, try to do that like once every few months or so, and I know it's definitely been a while since the uh, last time I've done one here on the channel. Now, moving on, 
with this being his fifth album. I personally enjoy this as opposed to uh, some of its predecessors like number six collaborations projects and divide i feel this album comes together as a whole for a practically a full-on pop album i feel there are still some great tricks uh, over two and a half years later on this album. There are a few tracks that I'm still kind of iffy about as well, but I find them to be a little bit more enjoyable every time I do listen to this album. This album uh, heavily goes back to more themes of love and relationships. Visiting Hours is one of the Saturday tracks, which was written about one of his friends who passed away. Sandman was written for uh, his kids, and I've always enjoyed that track, even from uh, first listen. And personally, I felt the production on this album was decent. At number two, I have Plus. Uh, this album is a personal favorite of mine, but I felt it was a tough decision between this album and Multiply to decide which should be in first and which should be in second. But now I'm recording in this video, and now at the time you guys uh, are watching this video is released, this is my final decision. Uh, but anyways, this was the first album of Ed's I've ever listened to in full, as well as uh, the first album of his I've ever owned a physical copy of. I do remember hearing some of the more popular songs off this album, like Lego House and The A-Team back in 2011, which I fell in love with and I still love to this day. I personally love all the tracks on this album, and I feel like this is the album of his uh, I've listened to uh, the most, so of course, uh, over time I eventually, you know, got used to hearing all of these uh, tracks, and just kind of uh, loved all of them in one way or another. So yeah, it's kind of hard choosing which is my favorite track of them all. I personally didn't mind the production on this album. I did love the lyrical themes of this album. For the majority of the track list, it deals with love and yeah, we have the A-Team, which mentions themes of drugs and prostitution, which may uh, seem easy to miss upon first listen. Uh, I've always enjoyed the acoustic guitar on this track, alongside the solo. Drunk deals with drinking habits and uh, essentially how it affects a relationship. Now, hopping down a little bit on the track list, uh, Wake Me Up talks about a past relationship and uh, what all he misses about it. Small Bump is one of the sad tracks. Lyrically, it's about a miscarriage one of his close friends said. Lego House is essentially about how to fix in a fix a relationship as you know how i seems uh it feels like with some references to uh essentially billing from a lego set kiss me has always been a personal favor of mine uh it's more of a story of two people uh falling in love over time and yeah, I've always enjoyed Give Me Love as the closing track. It essentially goes over a past relationship. Uh, he can't stop thinking about this person from the past and wants them to love them like before. 
we do get a little bit of rapping, which is heavily seen on You and I, You Need Me, I Don't Need You, and Lego House. I just felt it went well on these three tracks. Now, this is the moment I'm sure a lot of you probably have been waiting for this entire video, but here at number one, uh, I personally feel Multiply is Ed Sheeran's best album. Uh, again, I feel this was a hard decision between Plus and Multiply, but I did find Multiply to be more enjoyable, uh, despite Plus being my personal favorite of his discography. I did love the production throughout the album, as well as his vocals and lyrics. I feel the album contains many memorable tracks and some of my personal favorites of his discography like Photograph, I'm a Mess, Bloodstream, Thinking Out Loud, A Fire Love, and uh, a track that's off the deluxe edition that I enjoy is Icy Fire. And here I am kind of breaking my own rule, saying I really won't bring up anything from uh, Deluxe Editions, but yeah, uh, it's too late now. Uh, continuing on, I do enjoy the themes of love and even family on the album. I feel it expands more on these topics and even gets a little bit more personal personal at points. I do enjoy how some of the tracks on here bring back uh, a little bit of rapping, which again was showcased on his debut album plus, as well as uh, some of his extended plays leading up to that point. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video as usual, or that's why I say I'm on my album reviews, but yeah, since it's uh, my first album ranking, uh, feel free to leave your thoughts and comments and even rank the albums yourself if you've listened to all of his studio albums. If this video does end up doing well, I will consider doing a uh, more videos in the future, and I already have an idea of who I want to do next, uh, which I'll probably post in a poll soon, again, if this video does well, and I know at um, the time this video gets released, I have a poll that's a couple of weeks old, uh, and I'm letting you guys uh, decide on uh, another artist that I'll do an album ranking for in the future. Again, if this video does do well. Uh, so yeah, the plan at the moment is to do one of these videos uh, like once a month or uh, every other month as uh, it does take a little bit of time to uh, do one of these videos with like listening to the album and listening to you know a certain album uh, a couple of times uh, if it's my first time listening to a, a specific album and yeah having a more formed opinion instead of having uh, you know, essentially my first thoughts of that album from only uh, having listened to a certain album once. I definitely don't want that first uh, opinion in a video. But yeah, if you guys want a certain artist for me to rank their albums, uh, go ahead and feel free to leave them in the comments and I will definitely consider it. Uh, again, I know this video is a bit lengthy. Uh, it is my first one of these as well, so I know it's not a perfect video and uh, probably not the format I'll 
a hundred percent stick with uh as for future videos uh as i'm sure this will definitely change uh again i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'm definitely up for another if this uh, does uh, end up doing well enough for me and if you guys notice that uh, i'm wearing two different shirts uh in this video um mainly because life happens, record this video on two different days, and yeah, I, I kind of thought I had enough time uh, the first day I was recording this video to you know, like go in, record, and edit, but yeah, I guess I'll uh, hop on off, and yeah, I will see you all next time.